go. When someone approaches you, um, the first thing you want to have a think about is where are they and what's a place they would like to be. And I think it's necessary to do trauma work for contextual purposes to give people a little bit more insight and self-awareness as to why they are the way they are. But if we can, um, you know, we don't necessarily always have to go back into the past only to the degree that the past is withholding them from, from taking that chain, making, you know, that next step. Sometimes it's just like, okay, practicality purposes. We need to get here. We need to change some things in our lives and our structures. When over processed sessions, we start to realize that there is something holding them back, you know, and this is if they don't know, um, I find journaling really helpful. And there's some really interesting research that came out of um, the University of Austin, Texas about journaling in the night in the 20th century, the eighties. Um, they found that journaling about um, traumatic experience led to better immune health, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. So that's really, it's really interesting, but just getting it out, you know, like a cathartic process. Yeah. When you're, when you're doing that, the analogy that I use is because you're going into unconscious waters here. You want to tie yourself to a stable tree on the bank so that you can sift through the unconscious waters without the water taking you away. Because in that world of interpretation, like, you know, similar states you get into when you meditate or, you know, when, when that kind of starts to overflow so many things come up you know was that traumatic was that traumatic oh my god you know because it's so hard to process so i find journaling to be a really great way of keeping the rope tied to the tree because you're the one writing the the words so you write the word and oftentimes people you know i give guidelines to my clients and you know sometimes they'll write things and the first thing they'll say is like i had a great childhood you know and then so it's like oh yeah but then this experience happened and by the end of the page is like fucking tears on the page and they're just (laughs) going at it because it's like one thing leads to another. And then you find, Oh wow, that was a really, really painful experience. And um, so that's like some of the processes we use, I suppose, journaling and then just speaking about for the first time in their lives, sometimes how that affected them, 